I've been shooting photography since so oh, an itty bitty guy. Uh, Polaroid cameras. So I actually ran across a couple of my old photos in a photo book that my mom had kept. So I started shooting from a little bitty guy off and on as it was affordable. I guess when I started shooting photography, I started shooting for other people. And uh, one of the gentlemen that I was shooting for, who, uh, who's basically, he's from Michigan. Uh, he has a lot of little photo companies through the United States where he hires people just like me to shoot for him. Well, he talked to me one day, he says, Gordon, you need to start shooting on your own. And I said, really? I mean, would I kind of be the competition? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. There's lots of people out there. He said, this is what I want you to do. He says, you are, are you on Facebook? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm on Facebook. He says, good, good, good. I want you to put an ad and put some of your photos in there and charge like $250 for a session. I said, wow, okay, okay. you know, I don't know really how well that price tag will work, but it, it might, it might. So he says, yeah, yeah, work on that, work on that. And um, then we parted ways and, and I got to thinking, I said, well, okay, his sessions were a lot less than $250. And I'm kind of thinking, I said, okay, I kind of figured out what this guy's up to. He wants me to be kind of overpriced for the area, so it makes his look really good. But I did take his advice and I started shooting more for myself. And that's kind of how I got into it. My ability to learn and not be afraid to ask questions and not be afraid to listen to other people and uh, the thriving to, to want to just keep going forward. I started teaching for the primary reason is that my students inspire me to do better and they make me go out and try to do more so that way I can come back and teach them. When I go do a session, um, it's, you just make the people feel at home. You make the people laugh. Make them feel comfortable. Because when they're comfortable, they're laughing, they're having a good time, they create the best smiles. I work with a lot of different types of people. And with the different people that I've shot for, I got a lot of the children photos because I have... 13 plus grandkids <laughs> so I'm really used to shooting kids of, of different ages and and and, and attitudes <laughs> plenty of them and I also worked with a lot of special needs people um, I, I tend to that that tend to draw towards me you don't really pick the type of photography you're gonna shoot it, it actually picks you I shoot a very traditional family shooting when, when I'm uh, taking portraits of you, I'm not taking them for you as say. Uh, I'm taking them so when your grandmother and your Aunt Betsy is looking at the pictures, you go, oh, how pretty. I go, perfect, I hit it. His photos are capturing that moment in time. You're recording history with each one of them. And that's, that's such a great thing. But when, when my time comes, I don't want them showing photos of me. I want them showing photos of my work.